everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I want to show you how to make this pretty birthday card today. Wishing you a happy birthday. Celebrate the best day ever. And I'm using, this is probably going to be one of the last times I use this, or it's the last time. This is retiring products. So the band together and the detail band dies are retiring when the new catalog comes out and which is next week may 4th the new catalog comes out and these will retire may 3rd and also the dainty diamonds embossing folder which i used there's a lot of embossing folders on sale right now because they're retiring this is one of them but this is a bargain i have to tell you the the band together is a normal price but these detailed bands they're normally 38 dollars us and they're 15 dollars and 20 cents us so it's really a great deal and they work great together with these sentiments but i think you can just get the dies on their own and um, cut them out you use this in the middle and use your own sentiments um, but it is a nice stamp set as well. So you get all of these dies for $15.20 US. And I just, uh, yesterday I did the same kind of thing. I didn't do a video, but I made this card using the flowering blooms. This is one of those instinctive dan uh, stamp sets where um, it looks very realistic. It's, I think, photogenic or photographic or something like that. But it really, it stamps with all of this texture and highlights and things like that and then there's also the dies so these dies are on sale from 31 to 775 now i would think for this set you would need to get the stamp set as well um, this piece could stand on its own and there's some leaves and flowers but these really coordinate with the stamped images but it's a great set i use this quite a bit i use this quite a bit and I didn't always use it with the stamp set. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you um, because it, the time is running out. Once supplies, once they deplete their supplies, it's over. And um, when the new catalog comes out, they'll be, uh, they're making room for all the new goodies. So anyway, let's get started. I'm using um, Coastal, uh, sorry, Bermuda Bay as the card base. And then these are Coastal Cabana. I colored with flirty flamingo and um, what is it called? So saffron. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have a little cough, so I may stop and start a few times because I don't want to cough on on the camera here or on the, on the recording. So let's first thing do our embossing. So I'm going to take my basic white layer and put it in here. Let me get my um, embossing machine. So I have this. For some reason, I can't find my new embossing um, plate. I'm using the old blue plate, which works just as well, but the new machine has um, a 3D embossing plate, which is gray. But the blue one seems to be the same to me. So I'm just gonna line this up. This is the um, Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. And I have this just plain, there's nothing on it. And I'm gonna just run it through. Okay, and I think I'll do my die cutting off camera because I have to die cut those flowers, three of them. And I don't think you want to sit and watch me cut three of them. So here is our embossed layer. And we also want to cut out um, this band. So this is the band I'm using. And I have a scrap of uh, Bermuda Bay. So actually, let's cut this out. I want to show you how I do these, and then we'll cut and color the flowers. So let me just pull this back, and we'll switch out this and put it on the cutting plates. So if you're embossing, you remove this number two, but if you're cutting, you want the number two plate in there and a clear plate, and we'll put this on. And it's okay if it hangs over a little bit because I'm going to snip the ends anyway. Let me just trying to get it around where the circles are. I don't want to lose any parts of it. So let's put this through. I'm going to run it through and run it back because this is a little bit of an intricate um, die. So we'll just wait for all the clicking 
and run it through. Okay. And then we'll take this. I'm going to use my um, my little brush and just brush this out. This is the old brush. This is the new one that you can put on your take your pick tool. But I keep them both. And then let me use my um, take your pick tool and just push out some of these. There's a few of these like kind of swirly ones that you have to work on, but they come out pretty easy. And the reason I'm doing this in front of you is because we're going to run this again with the white, a piece of white um, cardstock, so that we can get the center. Okay, so this is cut out. We want to keep this. Let's actually see this. I could save that for another another time, but let's just push this all in here. I could use this. Uh, for the inside if I wanted to do it with the white on the outside. So let's get our little pieces off. And we're going to just run this through again on a piece of white. And it doesn't matter if it hangs off. All I care about is this inside piece. So I'm just going to put it like that. Put this through. And I'm only running this one through once because the inside isn't really intricate. So now I have this piece, this is what I'm after. So let's put all of this away. And I'll come back to that for the flowers. So we have this and this. Let's stamp our flowers. So I need three of them and I have it mounted. This is a huge stamp and I really only care about the top um, I did some of the, the stem on the inside, but for this, I only care about the top. So let's get our pieces and I'm going to use the black memento ink. So I'll just ink up the top and I'll do one over here. I'll ink it up again. And I'm going to do this one this way. Don't want them to crash into each other. And then I have a scrap for one more. Okay, and what I did was I colored them with the uh, dark so saffron. So I'll color the insides with these. Now I colored them twice because I wanted to, to get a darker look. I did go out a little bit. So I'll use this color lifter and just kind of push it back in. And the, I think the um, flirty flamingo will kind of cover it up anyway. Okay, so now let's color the flirty flamingo. So what I did was I took my pointy, you know, kind of blunt end, and I just drew on the lines just to give it, this is the dark flirty flamingo. So I just went all around and drew on the lines and a little bit on the sides just to give it a little, um, I guess, texture. Just, I, I follow what they do. So I guess a little, you know, a little more depth to it. So I'll do that on each one. Okay, so I wasn't like, you know, crazy about making it perfect. So now I'm just going to come in with the light flirty flamingo. 
and color it in and kind of go right over that a couple of times. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will cut out the flower using this one and I'll cut it through three times and just get it so it fits around and it really fits nice and snugly. So I'm going to step away and cut these out and I will be right back. Okay, so I have them all cut out. It gives you a nice little rim around them and now we can put our card together. So let's just get rid of this for now and get our Bermuda Bay card base and our embossed layer. So you can have this debossed, which is smooth, or embossed, which it's kind of bumpy on top. That's what I'm going with. They're both pretty. I'm just comparing them. I think I'm going to go the same way I did with this other card. So I have the debossed up top. I've got my inside in there peeking out, throwing me off. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Then I kind of want to lay out my pieces and this because I want to make sure I have room for it. I was going to have this go kind of like I was playing around with it because I always play around with everything before I decide. I was going to have it kind of go in the middle, and then I didn't want to cover this intricate piece too much. Um, have it go under. So I didn't really care for that, so I decided I would put it toward the bottom and put the flowers in a grouping on top. So something like this. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to put this down and it will hang over the side. So I don't want to put glue too far out because I just don't want to have to cut off a gluey mess. So I'm just putting some on the edges and then I'm dotting. And I want it to really sit nice and um, flat. So I want to even go out to the outside pieces. I don't want anything popping up too much. So we'll just go all around and then we could put it down. That looks good. I'm not crazy about this bottom edge here. It cut off right where it's embossed, but it'll be okay. And then I want to just turn this around and cut it off from the back. So I do want it to hang over to the card. So it's going past my white layer. And it's always good to cut from behind. So there we have that. And let's do our stamping. Let's put this on for a minute. So wishing you a happy birthday. And I'm gonna use the Black Memento ink. And this is pretty straight, so hopefully I get it stamped straight. All right. And then we're going to put this in with, or on, with some dimensionals. So we'll just put, I think three should do it. And it'll pop right up out of that nice pretty band. And this pretty. I love these bands. I really do. I couldn't believe the price when I saw it online. I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's really a great deal. Okay, so we have that done. I've already cut from Coastal Cabana these three, and I cut them out using this. So there's this leaf will cut out the this stamped leaf, and then there's this kind of veined leaf and then this so i figured i would cut a few of these out and what i like to do is just 
lay out my pieces, kind of figure it out. And I don't want to glue my flowers down before I glue my leaves down because I won't be able to get the leaves behind them. I'm only popping up this third flower. So what I did was I just kind of laid it out and then I put a little bit of glue on the back of the bottom of these. So just a little bit. And it's strong glue, so you don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna lift up and press it down. And let's do this one. So I did two up top and one toward the bottom. I just want to make sure it's down below the card. I want it to fit in the envelope okay. So let's put these down. We'll put these with glue. And you can use any colors. I wanted to use the flirty flamingo. And then I was like, well, what color should I go with it? You know, I go through all of my colors and they all pretty much work together. So it's nice to have a variety. And then this one, and I'll do the same thing, even though I'm putting dimensionals, I wanna make sure I'm not crashing into the dimensional when I put this down. So we'll just put this under, and you can use a yellow color or um, a real green. I just figured I'd kind of go with the Bermuda Bay, and I think Coastal Cabana is a perfect combination for Bermuda Bay. So let's put this down with dimensionals, and then we'll do the inside. Pretty easy card. Um, I think somebody would love to get this for their birthday. The Dainty Diamonds, I was really surprised that it, it retired because I think it was popular. But of course, there's new <laughs> embossing folders and new dies and new stamps and everything else. So, And then I did put one of these um, opal rounds. These were out of stock for a while, and I'm so glad they're back in. They kind of have, I don't know if you can see it, but there's looks like little specks in it of color. So I just think it's really pretty. And then on the inside, let's just um, stamp. I did the flower first because I didn't know how high it would be. So this is what I did. And I'm thinking it would have been nice to have the leaf showing, but I didn't want to go too far up. So I'm going to do the same thing and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'll get the black pimento ink and just ink it up. I almost wanted to get this other flower in too, but I guess I could have masked it, masked it. Let's see how this comes out. Okay, pretty much the same. And then we'll do the celebrate. Uh, what does it say? Celebrate the best day ever. And then we'll color it in. All right, I like that sentiment. So let's do the same thing. I did use um, some light old olive just for the stem because I thought it looked a little bit funny just being white. So I'm gonna color it the same way I colored the outside. Okay, we're done. Let's just put this on the inside and call it a card. So um, if you want to shop for any of this, uh, the retiring, it's called Last Chance. If you go to my blog, you can see um, a link to shop at my online store. And then when you get there, you can see Last Chance products. If you want to see everything, if you know something you want, you can just, you know, search for it. 
by the name, like you could put uh, band together or uh, detailed band dies, <clears throat> the embossing folder, dainty diamonds, and it'll bring it up. But thanks a lot for joining. I hope you like these cards and get ready. Next week is the new catalog. I'm so excited. All right. Have a good one. Bye.